Hi everyone, I'm Jason Hayes, Product Manager for Trimble Scanning Software. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at what's new in Trimble Realworks version 11.1. With this release, we started out by making things look better. First, we focused on improving the performance when using high-end modern video cards, such as the NVIDIA GeForce 1080, which I'm using on my laptop. What you can expect is smoother, more reactive navigation when working with projects containing thousands of stations. In addition, we added the ability to adjust the brightness of the point cloud when using the true color rendering. For those of you doing drawing and feature coding, we've added the ability to draw a three-point arc when doing drawing in both 2D and 3D. We've also added the ability to convert feature sets with line segments into proper polylines. You can see here I'm selecting the feature set in the polyline drawing tool and then clicking create to create a polyline from it. Now in the past, it's been a bit difficult to make corrections to feature set once you've moved on to the next feature. With this release, we've given you the ability to make edits to features while you're still in the feature set tool. For example, this feature code 7 has got the wrong code, so I'm going to select it and then change it to the right code. We've also added the ability to select previously created feature sets and make edits to those as well. In this case, I'm selecting the feature code number 6 and just moving it to a new position. Now, if you're more into modeling, we have some great new tools to help increase your productivity. The first of the tools is the Auto Extract Cylinders. The tool allows you to select a diameter range, add some constraints on how you want your models created, and indicate if you want the software to automatically add elbows where possible. Once the cylinders are extracted, you can use the new geometry visual check to go through and evaluate the quality of the fit. This tool can be used not only for cylinders, but pretty much any modeled objects in Trimble Realworks. Now we haven't just added new tools in this release, we've also made improvements to existing tools. One example is the slope orientation measurement tool. We've redesigned the tool to provide a better display of the slope and more options for how that slope is presented, such as slope grade and ratio. Another area we've made improvements is in the unit settings. If you go into the preferences, you'll now see the option of fractional inches. Another great tool that we've had inside of Trumbull Realworks for quite a while is the 3D inspection tool. This tool would allow you to compare a point cloud to a design model, for example. The software would then colorize the point cloud based on the amount of deviation between that design and the point cloud. The problem was you could only view that point cloud within Trimble Realworks. With this release, we've given you the ability to export out that inspection point cloud as an ungridded E57 file. You can see here that I've exported the point cloud out of Realworks as an E57 and brought it into Autodesk Recap. Looking at it in the Autodesk Recap view, you can see that the point color is the same that we have inside of the Trimble Realworks view. If I zoom in on this I-beam, again, you can just see that we've got the same coloring in both softwares. Another tool we've improved with this release is the Publisher. This tool allows you to share the project data in a Scan Explorer viewer, which gives your customers station-based views and the ability to make annotations take measurements, and even extract the point cloud if you grant this permission. In the past, Internet Explorer was required to view the data. With the new release, we've removed this constraint and the published projects are now open through a standalone executable file. If you use the Advanced Tank Edition of Trimble Realworks, you'll find that we've added a new bottom settlement capability to the tank inspection tool. This enables you to quickly identify areas of deformation and add additional inspection points to report on any that are out of tolerance. So version 11.1 .1 has a little something for everyone. I hope these new features and enhancements increase your productivity and make working with point clouds more enjoyable. I appreciate you watching today's video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.